Welcome back everybody, my name is Ryan and this is an eighth video in a series dealing with Zencart. Uh, Zencart again is the software program that allows you to be able to sell products online. Um, if you haven't watched the prior videos, you'll want to do that first. Uh, that'll show you how to get everything installed correctly so that later on down the road you don't realize that you made a mistake when you tried to manually install Zencart to your hosting plan. And also for those of you um, who are having some problems with Zencart, maybe feel it's a little bit too advanced for you, there is another option for you. So real quick, let me point out a few things for you before we get started on the, on the uh, tutorial here. Uh, if you haven't watched the prior videos, uh, go up to your address bar and type in www. and then the letter U and then save domains.com. Once you arrive, if you look over on the right side margin, you'll see some video tutorials. And we've actually moved the Zencart tutorials down a little bit lower right in this area. We've also got some WordPress tutorials and some other tutorials coming in. Um, for those of you that want something different but want to be able to sell products online and feel that Zencart's a little bit too advanced, then I want to show you the Shopping Cart software program right here. This is a templated program. All you do is choose how many products you want to sell and then you'll be able to select a template. You'll have lots to choose from. You upload your photos of your products. You upload your prices and your uh, description of your products and then you'll be able to start accepting payments via PayPal or your credit card. So this is another option for those of you that maybe want to get up and running a lot faster. Um, that's something that you want to check out. So in this video I'm going to show you how you can set up uh, to be able to receive payments via PayPal or your bank. This is the um, Zen cart that we've been working on. Now I know it's not too exciting. Um, you have the ability of changing out the theme and making it look a lot nicer. This is the default one that comes with Zen cart. We've been working on it uh, over various lessons on the prior videos. What I'm going to do is I'm going to go into my admin area, which I showed you in a prior video how you can get that link. And right in this area is the modules. And if you go down to payments, I'll go over a few items here. You'll see here that you have multiple modules to choose from. Now, if you want to be able to accept payments via your bank, you can you'll you'll need to have an account with authorized.net. That's the e more excuse me, the e-commerce uh, software company that allows you to be able to accept payments through your bank. Now if you choose to go with them, you're also going to need an SSL certificate. So that's going to encrypt the information that's being collected, the credit card information about your customers. And if you go back to the home page here at USAVE Domains and you scroll down, you will see SSL certificates right here and you can find out more information and pricing on those. So I'll go back to my Zen cart. Um, here's some other ones. Uh, cash on delivery, Zen cart free charge card. I would recommend with regards to that one, that's more of like a demo. So I would probably recommend clicking on this green link and just turning that off. You can just click remove here and that'll get rid of that. Um, you have some uh, check or money orders. If you ever want to configure any of these, you can. If you want to make it simple, you can also do PayPal. Now the standard is right here. This will allow people to either um, pay with their PayPal or they can just pay with a credit card. They don't have to have a PayPal account. If they go with the PayPal Pro, then they will have to have a PayPal account. So I would probably give people the option and go with probably the standard and what you would do is you'd click on the little red button here and then over on the right side margin you will have the ability of doing the install and then you'll want to follow these configuration instructions it's pretty easy to get that up and running so those are the options for being able to accept payments with Zencart we'll be adding other video tutorials over at usavedomains.com Thank you, and also, if you uh, found this video helpful, and if you watched the prior videos and like them and think that other people might find them helpful, then please, wherever you're watching this video, give it a thumbs up, um, or like us on your Facebook, 
that will help us out greatly in letting other people know about us and we really appreciate that. Alright, thanks for watching and have a great day.